Design duo Lennon Courtney have countless TV programs, live shows, and even two books under their belts. They are synonymous with bold colours and prints, and today we get to check out their latest collection. Thank you so much for meeting me today. Thanks, Thanks. for coming. Not at all. To our lovely home. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I love all of the beautiful designs I hear behind you. But first off, I want to ask you, how did you get into design in the first place and how did you team up? RTE cast us together and off the rails and that was in 2000 and... Eight. Eight. We're basically fashion boys out. No <laughs> way. <laughs> we were manufactured. No <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we met there and then we were styling obviously and I, for Son one of Sonia's birthdays I actually framed the napkin that we did our first design on in, the, in, in a pub when you could go to pubs. Uh, actually it was a restaurant and uh, I framed the napkin of our very first design. You, you did indeed. Yeah. I have it in my house. Yeah. And when we were styling women we always thought oh well, there's something missing and, and for us we, we that was a Lennon Courtney shaped gap that we needed to fill. You guys are synonymous with colour, bold prints and all those kind of things. So where do you get your inspiration, first of all, for the, the shapes and the patterns and, and the materials and that you use? We just gather references all the time. I mean, sometimes they're fashion references. More often than not, they're, they're art or culture or outside of the fashion realm. Um, and then we, we design all our prints in-house. Mm -hmm. um, we have an amazing team of designers. Uh, Josh and Cash Catherine are fantastic. And they interpret our designs into what you see behind us. The, the design process is the fun, easy part. It's actually then the slog of the marketing and all the other, the business side of it. But design is really fun. What is Lennon and Courtney, when people think of your designs, like what do we think of when we think of you guys? Our very first collection was uh, black, navy and white and it was very, very monochrome, very, very studied, very serious, very Scandinavian and I obviously quite like those muted colours. But we have now become known for print and colour and I think uh, as time has evolved in the last crazy year, uh, looking for optimism and joy in your clothes is absolutely the first place to start looking. So colour and print are definitely something that we're very well known for now and we really enjoy that. Yeah. And are there any pieces that you guys have designed over the years that is just an iconic piece for you that you love so much? I think it has to go back to that first collection as well and there was um, a floor length white silk sheath dress with two big patch pockets on the front. I still have it at home, it is a beautiful thing and I think people still talk about that dress yeah. so maybe it's time for a little revisit. What are the top trends that are coming in over the next few months? We don't look at trend forecasting, we don't look at colour charts, it, for us it's about where is the colour and the shape that excites us and what is going to be of value to the woman who wears our clothes and what do we want, you know? So, mm -hmm. for example, um, about four or five seasons ago we introduced these denims which have had so many different iterations. They're stretched, they always have to be stretched, they have to be comfortable, but they're just the perfect shape and I think where we've seen an evolution in Len and Courtney now mm. is around what does our woman want now? So we're living in a very different world and how do we respond to that for her? And yeah. also we listen to her, she contacts us through social media platforms, through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, she's always in touch and will say things like, I love that top, can I have it in a v-neck? We're like, okay, we'll get it to you. you know, so we really do listen. This dress, for example, the twist front dress, is a super popular because it's really easy to wear yeah. and, and they, they ask us, for the colours that they want and we listen. So for this dress they asked for pink and blue and we listened. We yeah. actually had a bit of burgundy in just to give it a little bit of definition. So we listen in the design process as best we can. What do you think is a key piece or a key shape that suits most women and they should have it in their wardrobe? I suppose we've been working a lot with jerseys like this dress here, um, which is really easy to wear, particularly when it's printed, because it's forgiving. Um, it doesn't feel like you're exposed. So for us, the evolution of jersey has been a big move on. And in fact, um, we brought our first jersey jumpsuit out and um, so we've used it in, in I suppose a new and easy way so a lot of our dresses instead of being formal become very easy as day wear. Yeah and I would call that it's perfect for waist up dressing so when we're taking meetings online at home you can sit in jersey really comfortably mm -hmm. and it's this it's free movement as well so you still look smart enough mm -hmm. but you feel comfortable as well. It's, it's a slightly more relaxed frame of mind now it's not mm -hmm. so much about formal dressing it's about you know how, how do you 
dress to make yourself feel good in your own home at the moment. And yeah. we've always been our mantra has always been what's your cost per wear how often are you going to wear it what if you pick one of our dresses up think of four things or four ways you're going to wear that and then you'll get your value as well so we've always said that and, and so the, the garments have to be fluid enough and comfortable enough to allow themselves many options lots and lots of famous people have been wearing your clothes so now's the time to drop some names <laughs> <laughs> well, we're very proud, uh, our friend uh, Amy Huberman, uh, your friend Katrina Balf, uh, Sinead Burke, who's, who actually interned with us for uh, six months at the start of her career, which we're very proud of, Sinead's worn us, um, Laura Whitmore, Angela, Angela Scanlon, Scanlon, yeah, you're next. <laughs> All the bad girls, <laughs> yeah. Now, you've got your brand new collection right here behind you, so when can people get their hands on this? End of November, this uh, array of colour called Northern Lights will be hitting the shelves. So yeah, it's, it's really about that kind of um, movement beyond the winter and into the spring. So yeah. it's a little yeah. taster, a little trans-seasonal collection. Mm -hmm. We saw the colours that we were picking out, it really mm -hmm. reminded, awesome. reminded us of Northern Lights. It's a big ambition of mine to go and see the Northern Lights sometime in the near future. Middle Mid distance. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of took a look and have a look, yeah. <laughs> well, listen, guys, thank you so much for welcoming us thank into your you. studio today. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you.